safety. So we must be very clear about that. That's unacceptable. Yeah. When a, a dog is seriously human aggressive, that means that without any form of challenge, the yeah. dog attacks a human. Is there, there should be no no place for him on this. If, yeah. But if, if you have a staffy uh, dogs aggressive, yes, they should be. The problem with people is is that everything that is common is not good enough anymore. Mm -hmm. And I am a common man. Mm -hmm. I'm a, a normal person. I, I, I live my life on the small things. I, I enjoy the small things in life. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not interested in big cars. I'm not. In, I'm interested in the reality of life. Mm -hmm. Dog is not your baby. You, you. That's, that's, that's an, an overload of sentiment. That, that really ruins dogs' lives. We have to understand to make the difference between animals and humans. Yes, and I always say to people, you have to use some sense of reality. Yeah. If your wife is pressing and she is in labor and she is pressing for four hours and a dog comes out, <laughs> you're not happy. The qualities of this breed have improved uh, or, uh, well, they are better in the past. Uncomparable. Uncomparable? We can't compare. Okay. The, the qualities of the dogs in the past yeah. and the sports that they did in the past are completely 100% illegal today. The nature of humans, I don't know. Disappointment is not a matter of ego. Disappointment comes from a range of expectations. Yeah. It means that the, the people might have expectations. If you come to this DSA and you think, okay, I'm here for the first time, I'm going to win, you have the wrong expectations. Yo! What's happening here? Yo, what's happening here? C'est Junior Big Black Boy comme d'habitude. Et aujourd'hui, on est aux Pays-Bas en Hollande. Et j'ai l'honneur d'être en face d'un grand homme, un homme très important euh, dans ces lieux, puisque c'est le créateur euh, de cet événement depuis de long, nombreuses années. Il va se présenter euh, lui-même. Vous allez faire sa connaissance. Et pour tous les fans de Staffy, de Staffordshire Terrier, et même d'autres races similaires qui adorent faire du sport, voici des, un contenu qui devrait vous plaire. Hello, sir. Could you please introduce yourself for those who may not know you yet? I, I think I can. I, I am I am Marco de Kerk and I breed uh, under the uh, kennel prefix Quinlan Staffordshire Bull Terriers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am um, the, the founder of the Dutch Stafford Athletics. Okay. And uh, yeah, well, I bred show champions, sports giant champions. Uh, I organize dog sports in, in a lot of countries with a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my own event is, is where we are today, which is the DSA. DSA. Yeah. Dutch Stafford Athletics. Mm -hmm. um, 11 different disciplines. Uh, including dog showing uh, that needs to be done in, in, two, in, in two days and a morning. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's really hard work. Yes. And uh, uh, that's, that's what we do. And I, I started this, I think now 18, 19 years ago. Okay. Uh, my wife said it's to been me. a long time. I yeah, think, the, yes, it's good. In time, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> time flies. Yeah. When you look in front of you, a day might be long, but when you look back, 20 years is nothing. <laughs> you know? So that's, that's a little bit of thing. Um, I, I, I did that, uh, I, and my wife said to me, why, why would you do something like that? You have already done so many for the dogs and the breed and everything. And I said, well, if I can motivate one person mm -hmm. just to come with me in the forest and enjoy, active uh, act activities with yes. these dogs that these dogs love to do I'm happy and so I don't need anything more and now we have uh, uh, here today people coming from Lithuania yeah. Norway yeah. the south of France yeah. uh, normally Italy they're coming uh, we, we do competitions in Brazil yeah. uh, move on Over, even today, today I saw a lot of people from different uh, different countries. Yeah. And um, now, when I li I'm, I'm I'm listening to you, um, I can understand the question I, I'm, I wanted to ask. It, it was uh, everyone tells me that you are the best person to ask questions <laughs> uh, to. So, what makes you so well known and respected in this community? Why everybody respect you? Everybody say your name, but I think that the answer you, you gave this answer. Do you have something else to to say about that? I think that that as as a person, as a person, and as the dogs, mm -hmm. and as all the principles that I stand for, didn't change for the last 35 years mm -hmm. that I have these dogs. 
And I think that is a matter of reliability. And even when, when you, you can disagree with somebody, yeah. but being re reliable is something always, you, you in, on the long run, always is the part that, that gets respect. Okay. Um, I just talked to, to my friend, uh, Michel Achterberg from Dialos Candles yesterday. Okay. And he's, he's helping the judge here today on the, on the dog show. Uh, and, and what we, uh, what we talked about is, is all the people gone. Mm -hmm. And we are still here. Yeah. And we do not say anything different. We do not follow any fashion. A breed like a Staffordshire Bull Terrier isn't a fashionable, mm -hmm. changeable thing. Mm -hmm. It's something from the past that we try to preserve. Yeah. So that is that is what we do. Rather, if if we talk about the M staffs, the pit bulls, mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 that's that's what we are about. That's what we are about. And I think that that is the reason that that a lot of people and more and more people will will put my name forward, saying, well. If you want to hear a story that is a long-lasting story, mm -hmm. uh, well, that is this one. Okay, that, that, that's good. But uh, and also because um, our channel is called Sport for My Pitbull. Yeah, I'm a fan of this breed, and we know that the origins of Staffordshire Terrier, American Pitbull, Star, uh, uh, American Pitbull Terrier, uh, have uh, same origins. Uh, maybe a, a story a little, a little bit different with the time or the selection, especially. Uh, but what are the, the, the most r remarkable qualities of the Staffordshire Bull Terrier? What's the, the, what the, your opinion? Oh, the, the most remarkable quality of a Staffordshire Bull Terrier is foremost and should always be human friendliness. Mm -hmm. It's the number one thing. No matter, you, you can forgive a dog everything, but yeah. as soon as it turns aggression on humans, uh, we can't. It's, and it doesn't matter. It's not for, it's for all the, all the bull breeds. It's mm -hmm. for the pit bulls. It's for everything. One thing that we have lost today. Yeah. In this, in, in this, in this time mm -hmm. is that, uh, we are not, we are not capable of putting a wrong dog under the axe. Mm -hmm. And it sounds quite harsh. It's not something I would do. It's something that they did in the past. Mm -hmm. Today we can say we can choose to put a, a, a dog humanely to sleep. When yeah. a, a dog is seriously human aggressive, that means that without any form of uh, challenge, the yeah. dog attacks a human. Is there, there should be no no place for him on this. Yes. Not in our society. The dogs live in our society. We do not live in their society. So we must be very clear about that. That's unacceptable. Unacceptable, yeah. And everybody that has a bull breed should know from the moment they get one mm -hmm. that as soon as such a dog becomes human aggressive, they must be willing to take it off the planet. Very important. And that's the Out only... Out of any selection. In aggression to human, bye. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way where we can maintain... Yeah and keep dogs mm -hmm. that are human friendly. We must be very, very hard on that. Because a lot of people are, don't know the, don't know this kind of breed and they think that they, they are human killers or ch children killers. Uh, no, but they are not. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And we, we should, as a community, mm -hmm. like you with, with, with your pit bulls and the club you have, and me with the Staffordshire Bull Terriers, mm -hmm. and we have people from Lithuania competing with, a, with, a, with, a, with an Amstaff team, mm -hmm. and we have miniature Bull Terrier on the place. Uh, all these people, mm -hmm. all these people should carry out the signal, listen, aggression to human is unacceptable. And every vet should know that as soon as we come with a dog like this saying, listen, this one is human aggressive, it should be humanely put to sleep. I think it's, uh, but oh, wait, w one thing. Uh, if, if someone uh, has a, a, a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, for example, uh, human aggressive, but... Uh, Do you think that maybe he can, maybe, I don't know, keep the, this dog to, to his home with uh, good infrastructure or all of these, but just don't, um, don't breed him again? Yeah, no, I mean, no, I think, I think, I, I think, I think, and that's my personal opinion. And it, it, it sounds quite harsh maybe yeah? to your, to the people that listen to you. To me, such dogs yeah? are not worth feeding. Okay. Bum. And they're not, they're not, they, we, we, we should enjoy dogs. Yeah. Yeah. We have dogs to have fun with. We have dogs to play with. We have dogs to be a part of our family. Yeah. We do not have dogs to change our life yeah. because the dog cannot adapt to the system we want it to be in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that means that the dog is, is antisocial. It means that the dog cannot live in our society. And it simp very simply means, mm -hmm. listen, there is no space for you. 
in our community. We must be very harsh on that. And that's the only way in the past yeah. people kept these dogs human okay. friendly and that's the only way that we can maintain keeping them human friendly we need to select you need to select that out okay out. very very hard on that it's because I, I i want to tell i want to tell one thing the reason why i say this is mm -hmm. not is not because i like that i like that myself so much it is yeah. because we we do not have the harsh selection of past days anymore. We do not have anything. We are pampering our dogs way too much. Yeah. And we are making them halfway our children. Yeah. And I always say to people, you have to use some sense of reality. Yeah. If your wife is pressing and she is in labor and she is pressing for four hours and a dog comes out, <laughs> you're not happy. Yeah. That's honest. Yeah. You want your child to be com coming out. You understand? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so dog is not your baby. You, you, this, that's that's an, an overload of sentiment that, that really ruins dogs' lives. Yeah, we, we say, we often call them my baby, my lovely, but we have to understand to make the difference between animals and humans. Yes. Yes. Don't, don't you, fall in this... Uh, it's, yes. it's, 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 an, it's, it's degrading. Yeah. Uh, try, you are a human. Yeah. You are a human. I am human. And some something else says uh, you are not that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They they tell you you are a cat. <laughs> What would you think? So we have a dog, <laughs> and we want it to be a human. It cannot be. Yeah, no, it's it can, a dog. It and we we need to respect it. What, what? It needs to be respected and loved for everything that it is. Yes. Not everything that we want it to be. That's a very big difference. Yes, really. Really, and I can understand, and I'm, I'm really happy that you you express yourself with your honest opinion, and yeah. uh, it's good to 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 hear your your own opinion, and do, and not only what people want to to hear uh, to the TV or TV show or the podcast. Uh, usually, we can we can see. But maybe that is why people say, if you want to talk to somebody, talk to to him <laughs> because. <laughs> He's, te he's, he's telling that story. Excellent for, punchline, yeah. I'm, I'm saying the same story for 35 years. Okay. So. Okay. Um, in terms of sports, do yeah. you feel that the qualities of this breed have improved uh, or uh, well, they are better in the past? The qualities of the dog. Uh, uh, uncom dog. Uncomparable. Uncomparable? Uncomparable. Uh, better in the past or now? Or no, we just no. we can, no, we there are different we, dogs? We can't compare. Okay. The, the qualities of the dogs in the past yeah. and the sports that they did in the past are completely 100% illegal today. <laughs> I can understand. You understand? <laughs> can so understand. What, what, what we do today yeah, yeah. was not done in the past. Yeah. So we, we cannot say in the past they were a lot better or they were, they're just, or we cannot even say something is gone. Yeah. We do different things with these dogs these days. Yeah. And because we do different things with these dogs these days, we cannot compare. So I have a, a little question. We were talking about uh, human aggressive, yeah. but if, if we have a staffy, uh, dogs aggressive. Yes, they should be. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh it's, 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 it's very simple. It's very simple. A yeah. Staffordshire Bull Terrier should have. Um, how do I, how, how do I put that? Put that. Um, a Staffordshire Bull Terrier should not have any tolerance towards a strange dog or another dog in his area. Yeah. That's how they should be. Yeah. And it's, it's not that that is a wrong thing. It explains a lot the responsibility that comes with these breeds. Yeah. I always say to people when they come to my dog training center and everything, and when they have these dogs, I always say, listen, you are the one with the dog that can see the light in the eye of another dog. That means you are the one that needs to be responsible. You must always be the smartest guy. It's not what I see a, a, a lot of a lot of times is that people make conflicts in the street, mm -hmm. and they make conflicts in the street with people who do not act the way it suits the responsibility of a staff at Chibute. And we always say, be the wise guy. Uh -huh. Yeah. In case of if you if you think it's, it's all going to be too dangerous, pick up your dog. Make sure that nobody gets hurt. Put your dog in the car. You can always report the other person for an unresponsible ownership. And in the in the other way, um, to see a lot of stuff for um wise and and okay with the con conchiner. I don't know if you yeah. uh, with other dogs. I mean, yeah. Um, is it a problem for you or or um, how to say that? 
I mean, for example, I saw a, a, a dog walking on uh, the high jump, for example. Yes. And I saw another dog come close to this dog. Yes. But they don't have conflict. They don't have problem. No. Um, in, for you to see two dogs in front of each other, but not aggressive to each other, is it a problem? No. Or at this time, no, it's, it's, okay. it's, it's not that it's a problem. It's, it's not that it's a problem when they do not act aggressive because meaning having no tolerance yeah. doesn't necessarily mean that it has to act okay. in an aggressive way. It doesn't mean that it has to act in a violent way. Mm -hmm. it, can, it can also, it can, it can act, actively igno ignore another yeah. one. Mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't need to make friendly contact. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. a big difference. I completely understand. Yeah. That's, and that's the difference. Now, when, when you, when you look here, what is happening, you were at the, at the high jump mm -hmm. and you see a dog high jumping and the other dog is coming close by. Yeah. The dog that is high jumping has no time for the other dog. Yeah. There's a uh, focus. He's focused. I'm focused. I'm yeah. this, this is my job and I don't care. Uh, I, I have two males. I run them in front of my bike together. Okay. Perfectly. As long as they're on the job. As soon as I'm back in the car, I jump off my bike. I grab one. And oh I my, put them. Oh my goodness. And I put one my, in the car. My, my, my dogs. Oh my God. <laughs> well, at, at, because at my at my home, all the dogs I have to to, to separate yes, them. Yes, me too. Yeah, they're separated, and and is, that's that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. When I when they are on the job, yeah, they, they are focused on the they job. They focus on the job, and they can even cooperate. Okay, okay, okay. But okay. as soon as the job is finished, then what are you doing here? <laughs> you, <laughs> you, what's happening <laughs> what's here? What's happening here? <laughs> Okay, okay. You know, good. I have a good idea. You want to fight? Yeah, why not? You understand? I, but that is that is typical. Yeah, yeah. That is typical. Typical, yeah. I like this word. And there's, there's a joke that, that explains uh, a lot about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. I had it from a friend, um, uh, a very good friend of mine. I know him for very many years. Uh, he, he, um, he wrote a book about Staffordshire Bull Terrier, a small book, and he used a few of my dogs way back in the day. And he, he, he told a little story about the nature of the Staffordshire, how he, how he saw it. And he said there were two bounty hunters. Two bounty, two bounty hunters. hunters. Bounty. People that hunt people down for money. Okay, okay. A bounty hunter. And they went to the Sinai Desert. And they went to the Sinai Desert and they slept in a little tent. Yeah. And they were looking for a few Arabs that they want to bring home for money. And the next morning, the guy opened the tent and he was completely surrounded by Arabs. And he woke up his mate and he said, you gotta get up, we're rich. Good day. That's the attitude of a staffy. <laughs> not the idea that they can lose, not the idea that they can completely be slaughtered or whatever. It's just it's pure liveliness. Yeah. And that's, that's one of the things that a lot, lot of people do not understand when they have these dogs. They act very boisterous. They're really, really wild. They have a lot of spirit in their eyes. It's life. Okay. It's life. And it's, it's, it's intense. You want, you want to try understand what I tried to say? Yes, and it's, yes. it's not it's not based on I can't. It's based on fuck off, I'm going. Yeah, it's yeah. a different attitude. <laughs> I um I didn't expect that <laughs> we could speak like that. Uh, <laughs> yes, now uh, but I'm really happy to be to 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 be here because uh, yes, you have so so long answers, but so interesting answers, and it's even not finished. So. <laughs> I continue before the sun uh, stops to, sh to shine. Um, -da 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 -da. Uh, what advice can you, you already gave some advices, but what advice can you give to someone who wants uh, to train a staffy for sports competition? Love it. Love it. First, love, love it. it. Love it. Admire the dog for it. Love what you do. Love the joy the dog has in it. Love it. That's all. That's all. Love it. Encourage your dog. Be happy for him. If you if you do see these sports and you see these eyes go open, yeah, and they they, they have a huge smile on their face mm -hmm. and 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 they, they go for it full throttle and they do not quit. But stunning. In, stunning. Fi in sport competition, maybe not here, but in sports competition, uh, I do a lot of. Uh, I participate to a, I participated to a lot of sport competition in different countries, uh, but especially in the. With the pitbull breeze, like I, I like I, uh, I said before. Yeah. Um, but uh, sometimes I can see that yes, uh, ego is um, is uh, it's the enemy of a lot of people when they lose when the dogs don't act like during the training camp. Yes. But the, during the competition, he missed. 
he do baby shit for them. They start to cry, to be angry, to put the dog and oh, go back to the car. Oh, I, I travel all this time and you do, you see you can even not jump uh, to the, to this. There are some people are angry, not everybody, even not me. But no. some, sometimes I have to speak with some people and explain. Be calm. Maybe you are, you are nervous, so he is nervous. Maybe he was nervous because it's a, a new place, a new location. Yeah. So yes, I. Well, I, 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 I was. I, I, would, I wanted to to have uh, to talk about the ego of the, of some people. <laughs> so it's hum, humans, maybe uh, uh, behaviors, the nature of humans. I don't know. <laughs> no. Well, well, ego, ego. Yeah, it's, ego. it's not a matter of ego. Disappointment is not a matter of ego. The, the people are disappointed. Mm -hmm. And the disappointment comes from a range of expectations yeah. who might not be completely um, uh, suitable to reality. Yeah. It means that the, the people might have expectations. If you come to this DSA and you think, okay, I'm here for the first time, I'm going to win, you have wrong expectations. Okay. You need to learn. You need to study. You need to. You need. You need to. Some some people before they do good, they they they, they are two three dogs ahead. You know, they, first they try with one, and then and then the dog gets old, and they try with another one. They learn from the mistakes they made, but then they also realize they have a new dog, so we need to do it differently. But they have a, a, a better a better kickstart, and then sometimes it's just the third dog that they really really push can 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 get to limits. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the idea is, is most of the time is that the problem with people is, is that everything that is common mm -hmm. is not good enough anymore, mm -hmm. you know, and I am a common man. Mm -hmm. I'm an, a normal person. I, I, I live my life and the small things. I, I enjoy the small things in life. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not interested in big cars. I'm not, inter I'm interested in the reality of life. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, they want to impress. And we do that by the way, some, some people do it with the, the way they dress, the way they spend money, the way they drive in the car, mm -hmm. you know, that's what people want. And then when those people get a dog mm -hmm. and when the dog needs love and attention and care and a lot of joy and everything, it doesn't suit, suit their mm -hmm. machismo, it's, yeah. it's, it's their macho behavior and, and it doesn't suit. And then the, the, the dog is given a lot of a lot of, a lot of uh, expectations he can't live up to. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. The problem is is in the mind of the person. Yeah, but no? I think even if we, if it's you, Ali, I, maybe you can be disappointed, but I think the problem what I don't like it's the reaction when you are dis, dis, disappointed. I mean, okay, okay, I'm disappointed. Oh, I we, wanted we have, that, but then. Don't don't hurt your dog. Don't don't, no, don't no, no, hit no, no, him no. just because uh, it's it's like this. It is like this. How, we had that situation today. There was a dog running. It was a pit bull running the track mill. Okay, doing I think 104 runs mm -hmm. in a track mill, which is this is a good score. He wanted he want the, the master wanted 100. Five, yes, he five. can do 120. Uh, and the 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 120 mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's and the response. Of the people that organized and me was not today not today not today the dog gave 100 percent. this is the result of the day yeah it's not that it doesn't want to do it for you it gives you 100 percent well how what more can you ask what more can you ask mm -hmm. and if that for today is, is an a-frame score of, of 25 times or you can you can you can just jump mm -hmm. uh, not as high as you use usually can because you did three four five other stuff disciplines before mm -hmm. So they, you, they, they, need, they need you. Huh? They, they, they need you. No, I, I think in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Um, are there any st st stereotypes, stereotypes or um, misconceptions people have about Steffi's that you would like to clarify? To clarify, yes, okay, yes, absolutely, clarify. yes, yes, yes. One of the biggest nonsense that has ever been brought up about Stafford's mm -hmm. is the idea that they should be a nanny dog. Uh, okay. <laughs> And they're, oh. do they're dogs. They're dogs. Oh, There's no easy. such thing as a nanny dog. The person that leaves his kid behind to have the diapers changed by a dog is a fool. So there's there's, there's no such thing. <laughs> oh, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about something, I, I can confess that, uh, yes, sometimes when people say, uh, yes, but uh, there are bad dogs with humans, talking about pit bull, Sometimes yes, we we show some pictures from the past and we say, but they are, they are okay with humans. Even in the past, they they were with with with, um, with children at home 
as you can see, look at the, the images. So this is why I was smiling because now I, um, uh, I, I have to, to hear what you have to say. And yeah. then, uh, yes, I, I just, uh, and uh, it's, it's a surrealistic, surrealistic. Scene. Yeah. And that damages a lot. Which means that people get these dogs with the wrong with the wrong expectations. Okay. You must be realistic. Yeah. It's a dog that takes a lot of responsibility, that is very lively, mm -hmm. that is that is very boisterous, that is uh well you, you just hear a little bit of the arguments that they can put across. Uh they they, they are not dog friendly by nature. Mm -hmm. And they are a very big responsibility. And that's the message we need to carry out. We shouldn't say, no, you can have them, it's easy, it's how you raise them. Bullshit. Genetics do their job, trust me. Mm -hmm. if, 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 you, if you have the dog and if you want to keep the breed the way it is, we need to search and we need to take the responsibility to search responsible people. Mm -hmm. And we do that by telling a realistic story and not by saying, uh, it's a nanny dog and then they are cute and they're sweet and you can, you can pat them on, on the head all day and they don't get frustrated no it's rubbish it's rubbish it's, yeah. it's the, the dogs get 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 utterly frustrated by by too much human okay. attention yes. okay. so it's nice huh? it's a norwegian dog oh, let me to, to, to film it you know what i i asked the, uh, the last question maybe I, uh, you can film a little bit yeah <laughs> There's also one thing I need to add uh, to, yeah. to the question about about the, the Staffords and the, 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 the nonsense people say. Okay. That Staffordshire Bull Terriers don't have the character anymore. People who say that are bullshitters. And people who say there's no much heart anymore in the Staffords are over most of the time ugly, fat people with a drinking problem. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not afraid to say that because it's the truth, and I've seen that a hundred of times. Mo most of the times, is weak old men with a very shitty life behind them that are talking that in the past everything was better because today they fucked up everything. And that's what I say, and as I will say to everybody who's listening, the, you you can watch the, these these dogs right here and look at me if there is one dog that doesn't have a proper nature, and that wouldn't go across to another dog to get in. But uh, because we also see on Facebook, for example, a lot of, of the groups with a, a lot of people who, are, who have Staffy, but they only keep the dog on the on the sofa, they give food, candies, yes, they yes. do nothing. No, so you, I have you, the impression you, that it's, it's you changed and I, the, the, the breed. No, the, no you and I have the same problem. Exactly the same problem. You are a pit bull enthusiast. Yeah? Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's talk Bully XL. <laughs> yeah. Bullshit dogs. Yeah. <laughs> for bullshit people. It's not for us. It's not it's nothing. It ruins your breed. Yeah. It's it ruins so everything that you love, it ruins everything that you admire, it ruins everything. On behalf of a false conception of people towards these dogs. It's time that we say stop all that bullshit. And it's the same for the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. These are Staffordshire Bull Terriers. This is the this is the breed how it's always have been, and people should not change it. It should be kept because that's what breeding dogs and breeds are about, is preser preservation. Exactly. So that's what we want, and everybody that says, "Oh, they're not as tough as they used to be. They're not as hard as they used to be." No, man, you aren't. <laughs> super, super! What a podcast! My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the, the last question: What do you hope for the future of the of this, that this breed? You said that, that I'm a bit, bit, bit enthusiast. Yeah. You are Staffordshire I, I, enthusiast. I, 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 ho I hope for, for for the future of this breed that all the bullshit has disappeared from the planet. <laughs> Almost impossible. Yeah. I know, but, but it's, it's a hope. It's what you expect. Yeah, okay, that's <laughs> it's what I hope. It's it's, it's what I hope. Um, uh, basic, basically, that that um, it loses popularity. Uh, as as a common common dog, okay. I, I, want, I hope I hope for the for the best of the breed that it will be uh, preserve it will be in preservation of of um, uh, true breed type purists. Okay, and cool. that's what I like. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Mister. And uh, let's enjoy the <laughs> the end of the show for for today because we we have a lot of beautiful pictures. And now I'm gonna film all of these and make a. A really interesting uh, video for the people. Good. Thank en you. Enjoy yourself, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.
ayez à l'esprit que chacun de vos commentaires et vos likes permettent à l'algorithme de promouvoir notre chaîne au sein du réseau social de YouTube. Vous ne voulez pas manquer l'ensemble des prochaines vidéos Abonnez-vous sur la chaîne YouTube Sport for My Pitbull. Et n'oubliez pas, ça va se passer entre vous, moi et tous ceux qui veulent savoir.